Hi, I'm Liz Sneddon and we're about to have a look at the time series topic and making hypotheses. The topic we're going to explore is sea ice and in particular looking at the ice in Antarctic. The variable that we're going to investigate is the surface area of sea ice measured in millions of square kilometres and note that the data we're looking at is collected monthly. So let's have a look at a trend hypothesis. Global warming suggests that the Earth is slowly heating up. So if I was to draw a graph of the surface area of sea ice over the last 20 to 50 years of data, what kind of pattern might we expect to see? Well, we know that the sun melts ice, so that suggests as the years go by, the area of sea ice may be getting smaller or decreasing. So global warming is what I'm going to focus my research on um, to support this hypothesis. So let's now have a look at making a seasonal hypothesis. As we said before, we know as the sun shines on ice, it melts. So if we were to draw a graph of the surface area versus the months of the year, what is the pattern we might expect to see? Well, we know that the sun tends to be hotter and days longer in summer. So that would increase the amount of ice melting. Now summer months are December, January, February. So I'm going to expect that the surface area of sea ice is lowest during these months. And vice versa, if it's colder in winter, which would cause the water to freeze, increasing the surface area of sea ice. Now we can put these ideas together and add research to support them. Research suggests that global warming is occurring, leading to my hypothesis that the surface area of sea ice is decreasing over time. As the Earth's temperature increases, the ice would gradually melt, reducing the surface area of sea ice. Further, I expect that the surface area of sea ice is likely to be highest in winter when the sea and air temperatures are at their lowest. <music>